Hello everyone, I'm Casper from Skahoy and today I'm excited about our latest integration with the Direct Out Prodigy MP and the updated Waveboard series. So before we dive into a full-fledged demo, I quickly want to go through some of the key features in this integration. And Skahoy is known for offering universal controllers for various devices such as cameras, switches, routers, audio, DSPs and mixers. And this collaboration with Direct Out is one of the first audio integrations that is created specifically for the updated Waveboard series. So we control the Prodigy MP processor, eliminating the need for any software in between. And this integration brings you the tactile fader control for the Prodigy MP without a computer. It is all network based. So from here to here, we're just talking IP. And you'll be able to control parameters like uh, the levels, gain, mute, and solo inside the Prodigy MP, and the waveboard thereby becomes your tactile fader bank for the Prodigy MP. This integration works for the standalone waveboard and also the waveboard mini, and the waveboard mini and the waveboard click together in a combo device, and also with the Colorfly, which is another product from Skahoy with four faders and additional buttons and knobs for adjustments. So there's really nothing stopping you from controlling direct out parameters from any other Skahoy panel. This integration can be used in various different settings. I suggest think about broadcast studios, OB vans, live productions, or AV installations. The modularity Skahoy offer really enables you to easily scale up and build large control surfaces combining the different panels. As I said, the Colorfly, can go alongside the Waveboard Mini, etc. Plus, with our flexibility, you can adjust the existing configurations that we deliver out of the box, and then you can assign any parameter to any hardware component and even control multiple devices simultaneously from the same panel. Let's go straight to the action and look at the Waveboard and the Waveboard Mini as you find them here in front of me as a combo device. It is currently connected to the Prodigy MP and on the screen you see the Globcon software. Now, I just told you that these devices talk directly to the Prodigy MP so we can shut down the Globcon software. But you guys probably know the software as the way you control Prodigy MP. And the cool thing is that as I'm moving a fader here to adjust a flex channel, you also see this is reflected inside the Globcon software. Actually, I can do that on multiple faders at once. I can also do the opposite. You see, if I adjust anything inside the Globcon software, we have a fader following along over here. And of course, you would expect that from a great integration. It just shows that these two are listening to the same data inside the Prodigy MP. They are not talking to each other. They are just listening to the same host. Okay, so we have just explored how flex channels can be uh, used here. We can adjust the, uh, the volume of these. You also see nice VU meters on the display. So that's pretty high resolution VU metering right there reflected or reflecting what you see here inside the software. You also find that uh, on this encoder knob on top, we have like a uh, fine tuning knob. So I, actually you can see I'm able to fine tune the uh, volume on the channels. I also see uh, the actual dB level of the faders. And then the buttons next to, like this one, is the solo button. You can see it in the software that enables the solo function as I'm pressing these, so no surprise to you right there. And the same is this for this one on top, that's the mute button. And then we have a little reset button right here that will bring all the channels to zero dB. So that's the, the basic layout. And this, what you've just seen for the flex channel, can actually span across, as you can see, because you know this one, this one, and then we move on to the next one. This is number, what is this, 10, 11, 12. And then if I go to the second bank, because this is how we have decided to configure the buttons on the side, that is banks. So we go to the next page here. Now I'm just continuing. No, so that is basically more flex channels for you. And now we get into a territory where we need to enable additional flex channels in the software to actually see that the last faders here are controlling this like that. I want to show you how we can change the layout of the channels and the fader banks that we have here. So for that, I need to change over from the Globcon software to Reactor. So Reactor is software that is running on the panels. So one of these, let me just see, this would be the Waveboard. The Waveboard is the host panel right now and the Waveboard Mini is attached to that one as 
a guest panel. But they work together and in the configuration, they just appear as these two units together. And this is the configuration I've chosen that brings them together as, as that cohesive surface. So the important thing for assigning channels here is to use the device selector. Basically, this is like an Excel sheet with uh, 96 lines, rows of configuration on what goes on each of these channels on the eight pages we have that sums up to or multiplies up to 96 individual channel controls. It's really quite basic. You just open this one and it is a long list. But if you look what is in here, it is pretty straightforward. First of all, I could go and let's just go to the first channel here. I could decide a different color. So if I want to have an amber color on this channel, you see this is what I'm getting in the color identification up here. I can also change uh, an alternative label. So I can now say hi to you guys by changing that. And you'll see this is reflected right there in the display. You also see that we have some probably more conf uh, important configurations like this channel config. And what is that? Well, that is basically telling you what is this channel going to, to, to control. And for the Prodigy MP series, we have six different options. We can either control flex channels, we can control the inputs of the MadMix 16x4 or the output, we can control input and output on the MadMix 8x8, and finally we can control the summing buses. We've been through all that, right? And then you also see that there are configurations for TriCaster, for audio from X32 protocol, Behringer, we have vMix audio and ATEM audio channels. And that list is probably going to grow. As I said, this is the first really cool integration for the WaveBot, but more options will appear in this list with more devices supported from Skyway. Before we end this presentation, I would like to give you a perspective of what lies beyond, because with Skyway products, you'll be able to grow. This is how we designed it. Out of the box, it will do really useful things for you. And when you need more, we are there to help you as well. So the next step would be, if you really want to customize your controllers, you can go to the configuration tab. If you feel adventurous, if you are a little bit looking for excitement, then you could go in here and see what's actually under the hood of the whole thing. And in here, you could click such as this encoder on the WaveBot Mini, and then you could change that parameter to something else than gain. So that's basically what awaits you in the configuration tab. In summary, the integration of Direct Out Pro to DMP with the WaveBot series offer you a powerful and flexible solution for controlling the audio parameters and various other settings in the Pro DMP that you need and beyond that in all the devices we support. So thank you for joining me. I hope this demonstration of the Direct Out Prodigy MP integration and the WaveBot was really informative and exciting. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us or explore the full range of Skyhoy products on our website to discover the perfect solution that you probably are looking for. And any questions, assistance with products from Skyhoy, our support team is already here to help you. Feel free to leave a comment below or reach out to the support team by email. And of course, stay tuned on social media and make sure you sign up for our newsletter.